Vexi Cutie. My name is Abby and today we have a change of plans. I know I told you last week that I was going to be building a drivetrain, but this awesome robotic event is going around in my hometown, so I thought I'd show you guys. Today is the RoboCup USA Open, which is that is robots playing soccer. How could I resist? Now let's go inside. The rules of the RoboCup are very similar to the rules of actual soccer. In the game I watched, there was a team made up of engineers from Pennsylvania and engineers from Austin, Texas. They went up against the University of Miami's RoboCane. Please tell me and my viewers your name and what team you're on. My name is Lloyd Bofis. Uh, I'm on the University of Miami team. My name is Chloe, and I'm on the University of Miami team, RoboCanes. Katie Ginter, and I'm on UT Austin Villa. Hi, uh, my name is Josh Kelly. I'm on the UT Austin Villa team. My name is Rubab, and I'm on the UPenalizers team. My name is Alex Balcom, and I'm on the UPenalizers. These robots fall over a lot, but the goal of the Robo Cup is to create autonomous robots that can play soccer against human players by the year of 2050. Turns out, it's much easier to kick a soccer ball than to program a robot to kick one. In Vex IQ, we program using ModKit. I wanted to know what these guys are using. So we use kind of a combination of some different softwares. We use some C++ programming for low-level motor control and things like that. And then we use a scripting language called Lua for all of our high-level behavior. And then we use MATLAB for some of our debugging. Uh, we use Linux, well, we run a Linux operating system on our robots, but within that we do C++ and Python. We write the program in C++. Uh, so the robots have their own uh, operating system called Nowkey, and we interact with it through C++, so telling it how to move, where to move, how to move its head, everything you can think of is, is written. It's a lot of fun at Vex IQ competition to hear all the creative robot names. So I wanted to know, what do they call these guys? We don't have any names, they're just numbers. And it gets confusing because sometimes the robot's number doesn't match the ro jersey number. So we're like three, physical three, or jersey three. We do name our robots. We name them uh, after cheeses because it's funny. Um, my my favorite is Queso Blanco because I really like queso. I didn't pick any of the names, but some of them are kind of based on Peter Pan names. I don't know why or who picked those. Um, do I have a favorite name? Probably Hook. Hook is a cool name. Time flies when you're having fun, and this is a blast. So if you want to have this much fun in college, what should you study? Are you majoring in engineering or computer science at your university? Yes, I am. I'm studying computer science at the University of Pennsylvania. Yes, so I actually am getting a master's degree in robotics and graduating in about two weeks. I got my degree in computer science. I got a bachelor of science in computer science, and I'm working towards my PhD now. I was a computer science and math major, and now I'm getting my PhD in computer science. It wasn't a great day for my University of Miami Hurricanes. They lost four goals to zero. But I feel like a winner because I got to see how college students use programming. And I had a lot of fun too. Bye guys, and I'm promising that next time I will build the dry train. But I think this detour was a good one. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is going to be linked down below. And subscribe by pushing the red button. Bye!